Welcome to Comfort Graphic number two. So I'm gonna take this from TikTok. I'm just waiting for it to post. And um I want y'all to understand that as a reconnected native, I grew up with the lie about Thanksgiving. Like the full whole bloody lie. So I'm gonna show you clips of this man's video. And then I'm going to show you my stitch once it processes. And then we're gonna talk about it. So this may offend people. It may hurt your feelings, but I can be more open here than I can be on um, TikTok. So, um, as soon as this thing keys up, I hate technology. So, I'm taking this from a person named Cupcake Babe. Come on, damn it. That's not the name. That's just the name I'm giving, you know. If this thing plays, I'm not gonna play the whole thing because my stitch will be done and it'll be the start start. Mystic Massacre is what we call it. The Pequot War. It goes by many names. It happened in 1637 down in Connecticut. Owners of the now established Foxwoods. The Pequot people were burned alive in the middle of their sleep at night in 1637. Mass Bay Colony, Plymouth Colony, Providence Plantation, Mystic Seaport, all English colonies banded together to burn women and children while they slept in a village at night. They barricaded the exit. They did all right, I'm going to stop there. My stitch should be about ready. I can't get to it, but it should be about ready. I hate technology. Um, I hit my thing for profile here. It's taking fucking forever. Sorry about that, y'all. Whoa. Okay, well that's that's awesome. Sorry, why wow, these Facebook bubbles came up. I'm gonna have to reply to that. But um that kinda messed me up. Sorry, y'all. It was an important. It was important to me. It wasn't important to you because y'all aren't going to see it. But, you know, uh, I want y'all to understand this video is like the reason why I'm not doing any more Thanksgiving celebrating. I'll eat the damn food, but that's probably where it's going to end. Because, um,. There was a young group of young ladies, as we wait for my stitch, I'll give you this. Um, I was watching this video. It's like maybe seven or eight years old now, maybe older. And these young native girls are sitting at this table. And they flip the table. It's a documentary also. And when they flip that table, I mean the food on there looked delicious. And they flipped that shit to the floor, which fucked me up because as a poor person, you know, it was something I would have never done. And, um, at least not without eating some of it, but they, they flipped it to the floor and said, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And they were all Native American girls. So, it, um, it fucked me up because, you know, if you ever, if you ever been poor, you ever been hungry, you know, not to throw food on the floor. And, um, it completely got me off guard. It completely opened my eyes. And then I found out that, you know, if this is what natives went through, I've been lied to all these years and I'm part native. So that's one more thing I can add to my shame. Because when I was a kid, I wanted to be a cowboy. And the only thing that, that cleared the cowboy, cowboy native, was when they came up with Brave Star, who was a cowboy, but also a Native American. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to stitch this because of events like this. Okay, 
I'm not gonna think great. I'm a little behind on stitching this thing, but it is Thanksgiving for another. No, it ain't. It's officially no longer Thanksgiving because it is 12:22 in the a.m. Okay, so if you're with me here on TikTok, you know I've been on my reconnecting journey. It doesn't look like it's gonna be ending anytime soon. I do not celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, I will eat the food, but I do not gather with people and do all the other shit because um. A mixed native, reconnecting, and for the longest time, Thanksgiving was my favorite holiday until I found out the truth. I owe that to a table full of young native girls who flipped the table. I need y'all to go watch that video that I do read it. Click on the do that and then click on his actual video because he makes some very important statements. Give that man some love and give that man a follow. He's talking about a tribe that was damn near driven to extinction on Thanksgiving. He talks about women and children being unalive by fire and I'm gonna make this video here and then we're gonna take everything to my YouTube channel of Kung Fu Ever number two so I can really dig in and I won't be restricted to the things that I want to say or need to say because of the rules and community guidelines here at TikTok we all have to watch what we have to say and what we want to say and that goes triple if you are a person of color and I don't mean no disrespect to people who are not of color but if you look at the algorithm when it comes to people of color right. That's all you really need, because I just want to get at this right now. <sighs> there are a lot of things wrong with this country. The one thing that I find exceptionally wrong is that, as a person who's mixed native, is that I have no true connection to what I should have been learning at all. That I have to go find out if my great-grandmother was in the 60s scoop. I got to find out if she was in the um, Dawes records. I got to find out all this shit that I shouldn't have to find out, but I got to find out because the BIA won't look for it for me. They won't send me any advice. They will not help me. So I'm on my own. Now, I got to stand up so y'all going to have to bear with me because my hip's starting to hurt from sitting down too long. So the thing is, man, is that, you know, this reconnecting journey is worth it, but it's been a pain in the ass trying to get everything right. And when I found out about this, this specifically, it hurt me even more. Because in school, they teach you the slave Swanto was the father of Thanksgiving. They don't teach you that Swanto um, was a slave and kind of was a traitor and some other stuff. And I don't know the full story because I'm still looking into that, but... You get to see the Swanto movie, and eventually it has a happy ending of him being a captive, learning the language while he was under captivity, coming back and trying to stop a war between the Pilgrims and the Indians. That's the movie. You guys can go watch it if you want. I do not remember who started it. It's like an 80s or 90s movie. So it's so far back. No, it is not the same as Hey Victor, which is a much better movie. Smoke Signals is a much better movie. You want to have a fun movie with natives? Go watch Smoke Signals. You want to learn live, you can watch the Swanto movie. Now, when I was a kid, before learning I was native, I always wanted to be a cowboy. Thank God for Brave Star. That shame got washed away with that. Now, here's the thing, man. We all have our opinions on Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving, for the longest time, used to be my favorite holiday. Thanksgiving got me fired on my day off. But, <laughs> um, oh, sorry. That's another bad memory about Thanksgiving. But before Thanksgiving got me fired on my day off, Thanksgiving was my favorite holiday, which led me to getting fired on my day off because I wasn't invited to the Thanksgiving party and I had to clean that shit up when I worked at Sears. And people wouldn't take 20 steps to go get a goddamn trash bag. And I had to go and get a trash bag. I had to scrape stuff off the floor. There was um, human waste, but not out of the rear, but out of their mouth. And I always thought that Native Americans celebrated Thanksgiving. Kind of found out not all Native Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. And the only ones that had, like today, um, the tribe I might possibly be related to had to honor a treaty. Because Natives, they honor their treaties. And so today in Richmond, the Chickahaname tribe, which I might be a part of, went to do a dance at the governor's house or whatever the fuck you call it. And 
and um, my feelings are hurt because it does show that the Native Americans still have honor and that they would go out of their way and pretty much disgrace themselves to honor this damn treaty. Yet, regular Americans won't honor five seconds of a treaty. So, I want you guys to understand that I'm not telling you not to celebrate Thanksgiving. That is not what I'm doing. I am telling you to do your research into Thanksgiving and understand why I will no longer celebrate a Thanksgiving. Now, yeah, I'm mixed native, so you're probably all going to think, well, that gives you an excuse to celebrate because you're not all native. No, it gives me an excuse to not celebrate because I'm on my reconnecting journey. It also gives me an excuse to make damn sure that everybody understands that I'm embracing my native culture. Understanding that uh, Thanksgiving was bad for natives is just a small step in this thing. Most people don't want to accept that, and I had to learn how to accept that. And I owe it all to those young ladies at the table that flipped the food over and said, thank you, happy Thanksgiving. Once I did research, once I watched the documentary, I understood clearly that I am not supposed to celebrate Thanksgiving, even though I'm a reconnecting native. Now, I will tell you, again, I will eat the food. I will honestly eat the food because people do go out of their way to make the food. But a lot of people don't understand the truth behind Thanksgiving. And now that I know the truth behind Thanksgiving, the only damn thing I will do is eat. Because I am grateful to be alive to eat. Your ancestors that I never got to meet never made it home to do that. I want y'all to keep that in mind. Because there's thousands and thousands of Native children still not completely discovered in America. Not just the ten thousands they found in Canada at the foreign schools that were buried in secret. The ones they just started to uncover here in America. Which, by the way, has been dying down on TikTok. So I'm going to remake a, a video tonight about that. Let me clear. I'm not telling you to not celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm telling you that I won't be celebrating any more Thanksgivings. I will eat the food. That's about as close to celebrating as I'm going to get. Thank you for watching. I'm Echo Fang Grey Wolf. Be seeing you.